Hey guys, we're back with Danganronpa V3. Oh, there's spoilers past chapter uh, 1 or chapter 5, as you can see the top right hand corner. If I want to see those, be advised. Anyway, we're going to. Outside, there we go. We're gonna go play that mini game from the prologue again. Was it the prologue or chapter 1? Doesn't matter. But now we have hammers. Come on, Kibo. Let's do this. Can Kibo hold the hammer without dying? All right. Let's get started. What should we do? Are they gonna be okay? Mm -hmm. What are you afraid of? Of course, it's gonna be okay. Okay. Actually. See, man, just doing you, Miko. <laughs> you don't need to worry. Of course, it's gonna be a little dangerous, but don't worry about it. Get all these ultimates here. If we all work together, everything will be all right. Ah. Uh, Those words. Yeah. Finally fulfill Kade's wish. I'm not sure what she said. So we'll work together to escape this place together. Once you get out here, out of here, make it to the outside world. Why don't we all stay friends? That's right. So we made a promise together. That's right. Promise to work together to get out of here. Become friends. I see. It's time to fulfill that promise. Hmm. I'll cheer for you guys. I told you. You need to do it too. That's right. That's exactly right. I keep the promise I made to Kaede. I'll never give up. I can't give up. Let's do this. Come this far. No choice but to believe. The hammer that Mio invented, I know we can do it. I have to believe that. Keep repeating that to myself as I step into the tunnel. Okay. How do I use it? Okay, just left it. How do I jump? <laughs> I remember this. I know they had like cheapy sprites, not. I can't remember. I think we walk over this one? Yeah, I would do. Damn. Oh. Time to do my this best! Is... Oh. Leave it to me, everyone! Okay. So, should we shoot to make it? Okay. Uh... Oh. I miscalculated. <laughs> okay. I saw go. Oh. I didn't do it. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> what? No. How do I? Kato! Leave it to me. Okay, last hope. Damn it! How do we get past the bridges? Okay, so there's no dialogue, so it'll keep going until we do it, okay. Let's do it. It's not canon, that's... It's just, like... It's another universe where, where we fail. So just hit the... Hit the blue symbols. Those are the traps. Wait, no, there's bombs? There's ports! Which one is it? How do we get rid of the Damn it. Okay. This is it for me. I can do my best. Okay, no! if you jump you hit your head. Oh, Kibo! Leave it to me, everyone! Kibo, you're the world's greatest. Never change. Oh! Ooh. Okay. We're gonna make it! Oh. I should not have lived there. But I did anyway because of Kibo. Behind. Ah! Oh, we can hit the cage. Okay. Just 
keep hitting. Did we make it? Imagine making this on your first try without the, like, you know, like in, like in the beginning. What is this? Finally, we made our way out of the tunnel. For so long, we thought there's no end. But there's an end indeed. And in the end, there was... Oh, okay. Here's the exit. Huh? Is this the exit? That's right. I, I thought about that uh, earlier. In Dungeon Ramper 1, there's a clear exit. In 2, it was kind of implied with the whole thing. Like the temple thing. But with this one, we never really had. I, I guess, I mean, I guess we did. It was there in the beginning. Seems like it. Look there. Oh my! It's a door. My other side of that door. Got it. Yeah, it's probably the outside world. Yeah. <gasps> we did it. We can finally escape. No. Don't get your hopes up. We don't know if this is actually the outside world. Sorry. Right, we don't know what the outside world looks like now. Huh. It's fine. Monokuma is probably just lying to us. The skies over the Shikana are normal, so the meteorites are probably gone. Everything's fine out there. Um. Let's open that door. I'll have plenty of time to talk after we. Mm -hmm. Looks similar to that electric barrier in the front of the robot in here. Let's we disable that. We won't be able to open that door. All right. Let's look around. Operation panel. Could it be? This is a control panel for the barrier. This is like the one in the robot hangar. Should we be able to disable the barrier with the password? Mm -hmm. Password? Does anyone know it? Huh. We don't need that. Yeah. <laughs> just hit it with a hammer. If it's electronic, we just gotta destroy it with these hammers. Okay. Seems like the lock is controlled electronically, so we can use the electro hammer to open it. All right. Let's destroy this control panel with the hammers and open this big dumb gate, and everything will be over. Stay, stay goodbye to this academy and this killing team. That's true. Finally, this death game is going to end. Yeah. At least we, at last, we can return to our normal lives. Normal lives. Down the store is our normal, peaceful, boring lives. We'll be able to go home to those normal lives. Secret of the outside world couldn't be that awful, right? <laughs> Let's go! Let's go. It's finally time to graduate from this Academy of Lies. That cat will swung the electro hammer and ah! Smash her down in the control panel. And we're on the moon. We all die because there's no oxygen. Lock disabled. The door's unlocked! All right. I just gotta open up this gate. Let's all work together. Yes. We can do it. Right, right! And we can get out of We all enter the door. With our own hands, with our own strength, we open that door. Our door to the future. Future of hope and despair. And we did it! And we, we beat the game! Woo! Oh. So what we saw on Earth. Gotta let you call the truth is out there. Oh, what is this? What's going on? What is this? I can't breathe. I can't breathe. The door is now locked. Very the conscious, we heard a sound in our heads. Did Kibo do that or Kokichi? What? What happened? Oh. <laughs> King Gets! Finish the killing game! <laughs> Kokichi? Hey! Are you okay? Get it together. Well, it'd be funny if you died here, you know. See? Our lives are very precious to only humanity. Huh? What? Humanity? <laughs> Hold on, the fun starts now. It's finally time to reveal everything. Shook my head dizzy. The hand spun under me. I managed to get to my feet. At the same time. <laughs> what was that just now? What's going on? The other side of that door was... Damn. Where even are we? What in the world is going on? Hey! hey. Morning, everyone! I guess feeling... Terrible? So, was, was that real, though? Because... What did that... Like, that was just, like, a projection. Because, I mean, they couldn't breathe. I mean, Danganronpa 1, they mentioned something about how, like, 
the air isn't breathable outside. Oh, was that one of Junko's lies? I think it was. But, uh... If they were on the moon, it'd be understandable. <laughs> First you guys are, because you now know the truth of the outside world. Huh? The truth of the outside world? <laughs> Sorry, right? The outside world you guys so desperately long for doesn't exist. What are you talking about? What do you mean it doesn't exist? Hmm? You want to know? And I'll tell you. I mean, get aboard with all the lying, so everything I say now will be the truth, okay? Okay. Everything began when that despair came falling from the sky. There was no way to avoid the numerous amount of meteorites raining down on Earth. Do you think Junko did the meteorites? The leaders of every nation realized that we could not escape the end of the world. Please, wait! What, on the end of the world? What are you talking about? Hmm. Jeez, you better not interrupt me again. I'm not going to tell you anything. Got that? <laughs> but, um... Hebo, we should listen to what he has to say. <laughs> Continuing from, from where I left off. The leaders of every nation wanted to prevent the extinction of the human race, so they decided to implement a plan. The Gopher Project, a plan to place talented humans in a spaceship in order to help them escape the world's end, so that they may find another planet where they can preserve humankind. The Gopher Project wasn't implemented to save the human race, but rather to salvage the human race. Sixteen young and talented high schoolers were chosen for the Gopher Project. These atoms in need of the new world were known as the ultimate students. Why, why did they send a robot? That, that seems like a bad idea. But the sixteen students refused to partake in this plan. Well, it's obvious why they wouldn't. Surviving alone? Family and friends left behind to die? That's just hell right there. So then, the 16 students decided to flee from the project. They erased their memories to forget their ultimate talents. To become normal students. Huh. <laughs> I guess I'll buy it. I mean, my fake memory theory. I mean, it, it could be the reverse, but I mean... I don't know how much I can trust Tokichi right now. There's, there's got to be more to it since, you know, the, the last chapter will always be, you know... Oh, he was explaining everything. But it was around that time, a certain cult organization rose in power. Those who believed in the end of days were convinced humans deserved the meteorite's wrath. When they discovered the Gopher Project, they plotted to sabotage the plan. That's when the ultimate hunt began. The ultimate hunt affected all society. Those influenced by it searched for the 16 students. But why'd they pick a robot? That, that doesn't make any sense. As a countermeasure, the organization responsible for the Gopher Project spread misinformation claiming that all 16 students had died. Okay. That was our memory of the funeral. With this, they were able to quell the ultimate hunt. Right. Shelter the 16 students. So we just went to our own funeral and they're like, oh yeah, they're dead. But we're, we're all 16 of us were just standing in front of him, like, yep. But no, no, that doesn't matter because we're, we're, they're dead. See? And carry out the gopher. Project. It's their funeral. They're not standing right there, they're dead. The Ark's launch succeeded, despite the meteorites and the destruction of Earth. The 16 ultimate students were sent off into space as humanity's last survivors. How exciting! And that arc is the true identity of this academy. Huh? So we're in a spaceship then. What? The ultimate academy for gifted juveniles is actually a gigantic spaceship colony. But how? I don't know how much of this I believe, but I mean, I guess. Eh. This whole academy is one giant spaceship colony? Uh... What are you saying? Wh what? You really think I'll believe that? <laughs> well, hold on. The story isn't done yet. By the way. Don't you think it's strange? Why do you think the killing game happened on the Ark? Humanity's less hope. Which means... Actually, the organization behind the Gopher Project had one terrible oversight. Well, that's... A horrible person. Heading with the 16 chosen to be the last survivors of the human race. Huh? What? How exciting! He's the leader of the cold organization trying to crush the Gopher Project. Oh yeah, it was me, Kokichi. Ultimate Spring Leader. Dead amongst the last survivors of the human race. Create a robot on this ship. Yeah. And that robot is Monokuma. See? Originally, the 16 chosen students were placed in the status cold sleep. 
and were only supposed to wake up once the ship found a suitable planet. But Monokuma manipulated the Ark and brought it back to the ruined Earth. Hmm. Although the 16 were supposed to wake up on a different planet, they rose from their sleep. You know? And they're not here. Hold up! If we're returning to Earth, that means... What you guys just saw? That's Earth now. Okay. W what did you say? That's Earth after a few hundred years. Oh, hundred years. we were in cold sleep. An Earth destroyed by meteorites. Without oxygen or living creatures. There's no oxygen. There's no living... They just killed all of it. All of... Nothing left. An Earth without any cities. Or any people you knew. I mean, that looks like a city to me. That is the truth of the outside world. Which means... There's no place for you guys to go home to. That's why it's pointless to go outside. <laughs> the outside world doesn't exist anymore. The what? Doesn't exist? Yeah. The Earth and the humans have died out ages ago. Except for the last 16 survivors of humanity. Ah. The last 7 survivors of humanity. It's a lie! It's a lie. It's definitely a lie. Man. I already told you I wouldn't lie anymore. I'm tired of lying, you know? So that means... Anyways, I gotta confess. You know that cult I mentioned earlier? <laughs> the leader's me. <laughs> huh? Huh? Anyway. Which means the mastermind who struck Monokuma onto the arc is... <laughs> oh, me! But how? Tokichi, you're the mastermind? What? No way! Well, you know. I didn't want to catch the gopher project. I wanted to ruin it in the worst way possible. <laughs> so I came up with a plan. Let's have more fun! What could possibly be worse than the last 16 human survivors of humanity kill each other off? What? What? You it's a know. lie! It's a lie. It's all gotta be a lie. Ah. Oh, you want me to lie now? But you guys always told me not to do that. <laughs> I'll show you the irrefutable evidence that I am the mastermind. Akichi took what looked like to be a remote control out of his pocket and fiddled with it. A minute later. Exosols? What's going on? I thought only the mono cubs could control the Exosols. <laughs> well, I'm different. Since I'm the, the mastermind, I control that, everything in this school. Doesn't make, Just throw a bunch of random letters together and that's... That's how you get the name. <laughs> as long as I have the master remote control, all Exosols move on my command. Then... I want Monokuma back. You're the eye of the mastermind? Don't tell me. You're always suspicious from the start. For you to be the mastermind, that's just so stupid. It's so obvious. Oh, man. Wait, wait, you don't believe me, Shuichi. So disappointed in you. I even gave you such a huge hint, but you still don't even get it. Yeah! Kamara McKenna thinks this can't be true because it's just, it's just so obvious and stupid. Like, there's a way to make someone so obvious to, that they are the culprit work. This isn't one of them. How boring. I was waiting with so much anticipation to see when you guys would figure it out. What is it? Hint, you thought that message for this? Maybe. I guess that picture sent one to waste. All because you guys trusted each other. Huh? Huh? Hmm. I told you, you guys should have doubted each other more. You guys could have realized I was the mastermind earlier, and then there would have been less victims. <laughs> Anyways. Actually, Teddy had the right idea to try to kill the mastermind at the start. <laughs> Too bad, though. If only should have killed me then, the killing game would have ended. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> this is the truth of the killing game. Well, it's turning out not so boring, right? Not anyone could have organized a killing game with the last 16 survivors of humanity, you know? Damn it. Are you saying it's the truth? We're just being led around by you the whole time. You mad? Oh, you mad? Well, what are you gonna do about it? Shut up! Shut up, of course I'm mad. Always messing around. Don't think you've won just because you've got the Exos on your side. Because you've got the Electro Hammers. What? What's happening? Wow. Typical Kaido. Guess things aren't going your way. Lucky for me, you ran out of juice. What? The Electro Hammer? At that moment, his Electro Hammer powered down. Not just Kaido's. Every Electro Hammer powered down at once. Well, you know. Told you, did I? The problem was that it runs out of battery pretty quickly. But... I lasted longer than I calculated, so I was actually starting to get a bit nervous. Did you calculate you? that too? Maki, teleport behind him and steal the remote and the bomb. Well, the, not the bomb, the, uh... Electro Bomb, right. My bad. Sorry, Kaido. Your tiny brain is just too different for mine. Please don't. Don't glare at me like that. Touching me won't solve anything either, you know? You can't resurrect the dead. You can't turn back Earth back to normal. Right? Right? Always messing around. Even if that is the case. Don't screw around! Can't get over it if I don't punch you. Kaito! Kaito, wait! Should I just 
Still have Kaido before he can off, but couldn't grab him in time. <laughs> Stupidly can't be cured unless you feel a bit of pain, Chris. Stop it! Maki's scream was in vain. Four very nice Kaido charged at the Exul. Respect down. Young Limley down from the Exul's hand like a rag doll. Kaito! Don't worry, he's not dead. But now you know, right? There's no use defying me, the mastermind. <laughs> These Exosols were originally machines to protect us. They were built to shield us from any danger that might pop up on other planets. But now I think it's hilarious how much they've become a threat to you guys. Oh no! Her hair's moving up! She, she's powering up! Give Kaido. Huh? Maki? Give it back. Give Kaido back. Give it back. Her ice screaming scre murder. Maki later at Kukichi and moved towards you. Maki. Maki, even if you. Do you want to die? Let go. You want to die? Uh, Maki. It's no use. I won't let go. Even if you kill me, I can't let go. Please, Maki. Well, she can just teleport behind him and seal the remote. Come on. Shuichi. Nice job, Mr. Ultimate Detective. That was a wise call, Shuichi. But. Your talent is useless now. The mystery of the killing game, the secret of the outside world, the mastermind's identity. <laughs> They're all solved. You don't need a detective anymore. This is the true ending. Uh, ending? What did you say? This is the ending. No wonder we're we supposed to do now. The world is destroyed. We're in the last human being's left. <laughs> what are we supposed to do from now on? Mm -hmm. I'm not doing anything you want. Yeah. Well, you know. Now I started this whole thing, and I'm bored now, so sorry about that, guys. <laughs> That's why I wanted to reveal the truth. I wanted to see utter despair in your face. Yeah. I'm not saying that. Totally satisfied now, so you guys are free to do whatever you want. Wait. Hold on, you're the one that started all this. So you're responsible. Yeah. You guys can commit suicide together or kill each other. Or you can change your mind and stay here. You're welcome to do that too. Thanks to the school's barrier, there's plenty of oxygen. <laughs> it is the Gopher Project's Ark. It's supposed to be humanity's last hope. Oh, but did you guys know? The sky on the other side of the barrier isn't real. Okay. That's just one of the Ark's functions. It's meant to help us forget we're on a spaceship. So that means... Anyway, the killing game's over. I can do whatever you please. Huh? I, I don't know what to do. You bastard. What do you plan to do with Kaido? Ah. I just wanted to chill out for a bit. Hot-blooded idiots like him are trouble. They do whatever they want without thinking about the consequences. So I don't believe this for a second. Why? Because if if they really built a spaceship to send a bunch of teenagers out to space for, you know, to be human, like you know, they'd give up computers to play games. That it's not real. That there'd, there'd be more books. There'd be more, you know. Think about it. They'd be on a spaceship. I mean, sure they'll be in sleep for hundreds of years until they land on a planet, but. What's the get off? What do they do? They'll have nothing to do. They have no computers. Well, at least that one big computer, but that doesn't count. If it's just him, I can deal. But if he gets all of you involved, then that's totally a hassle. Also, the killing game might start up again if I let him run around. So that means. Anyway, Shushi, can I have the robot hangers alarm remote back? Huh? What? See? I was thinking that would be the perfect place to keep Kaido in. Stop it. Don't give it to him, Shuichi. Shuichi! Hand it over, Shuichi. You bastard. Don't give it to him. Well, you know. You know what will happen if you don't hand it over, right? I I always think, okay. This school oh, is oh. mine! I am the king! I always think, okay, Kohishi's expressions, I can't get any, like, you know. I, I don't know the right word. Scarier, worse. But then they just keep keep ma making it worse. I, Kokichi Oma. I am the mastermind and king of the ultimate academy for gifted juveniles. So I don't mind being the mastermind. I think this is the truth. Yes! This world is mine! Sorry. Sorry, Maki. Cut in Miyamaki's eyes. Give Kikichi what he wanted. <laughs> Thanks. Kikichi's evil yet innocent smile standing on his face as he took the key. Then he simply left. Solved the entire mystery for us and left. Left us there with the truth. The truth of our despair. Here we go, it's okay. Uh, 
Are you okay? Am I okay? I'm gonna be okay. Let's say the world. Everything's destroyed. Everyone's dead. Everyone at school. Everyone in my neighborhood. They're all dead. Uh, um, Calm down, Himiko. What am I supposed to do now? There's no point living anymore. Which means... The Ultimate Academy is a spaceship. We're the 16 survivors of humanity. Unfortunately... This killing game is my plan. I pit the remnants of humanity against each other, or a world that no longer exists. <laughs> the mastermind who engineered all this is forcing us to participate in this future. Oh no! Can't, my mind feels like it's about a short circuit! Me too. Uh, um... Smoothie, are you okay? She's got a thousand nerds stare. It's no use talking to her right now. Uh, um... Maki. <sighs> Coward. Uh, okay. I know. But... Just don't have the strength. Can't fight back. Can't do it. The whole truth was revealed. The conclusion. This is the end. There is no outside world. We're the only humans left alive. Trying to get outside was pointless. Played the killing game for it. It was all meaningless. That's the conclusion. <sighs> Nonsense. So what did all the others die for then? <laughs> so this is the despair that Conta felt. So much despair you want to die. It really is just like that. <laughs> it's like this. Would have been better if I died a lot earlier. <laughs> it's all over now. That's true. This is the end of everything. Our story ends here. There'll be no more death. No more killing game. It's all pointless. The truth is... Should have all just died a long time ago. I don't even remember how I got back to my room. Before I knew it, I found my body in the bed. Numb. I didn't want to sleep. I just wanted to run away from the despair. But the sleep came anyway. Okay, I, I, I gotta be honest. Was not expecting that. I don't... I don't trust what Kokichi said. At least not entirely. So wait, here we have Titanic. Ti yeah, Titanic, Monokuma. You know that when you talk to someone on the cell phone, you're not hearing their real voice? Their voice is compared to the synthetic sound while you're both communicating. And Persona 5 taught me that. Breaking down their voice into various waveform patterns. The phone reassembles those patterns to recreate characteristics of the speaker's voice. This reduces the amount of voice data that needs to be sent to make the call possible. Also, you know how shaved ice has flavored syrups such as strawberry, melon, and lemon? It's just telling Persona 5 packs! They're all the same flavor. The only difference is the aroma and the food coloring dye. You think these facts are lies? Do you deny that these facts are lies? Do hoo hoo. What would the world be like if all those lies were denied outright? It would be a very lonesome world. I guess we want to make the world go down. Is this for Soda 5? Anakuma must not be here anymore. There's no point to morning announcements now. So it's really over. There's no point to this killing him anymore. There's no reason to go outside. There's no reason to keep living. There's no reason to live. 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 It's an epilogue. All that's left is to take up time. What a boring story. There's nothing I can do anymore. I wonder what everyone else is doing. Just start banging your head on the wall. Do that for a million years and maybe your wife will, will hear you. Wonder what Kato's doing. Uh, okay. Right, I wonder if Kato's okay. Is he? It's no use. My mind isn't working. My body. If you're searching for the meaning of life, you're doing it wrong. Your life doesn't need a meaning. It just needs a purpose. In other words, you just need something to live for. You can't live for spending time with loved ones or chasing dreams. You can even live for eating delicious food or playing games. People can get by as long as they have something to live for. Sit down and rumpus your reason to live. I couldn't be happier. Ooh hoo hoo. It's been a real pleasure doing business with you.
It's morning. How long have I been like this? I should get up. Might not ever get up again. I... I don't care. If I just kill my... Huh? What? My body reacted reflexively as I heard the oh. door doorbell. Somewhat surprised that I even managed to get out of bed. I went to the door. Uh, um... You got up! Who could it be? Here, look, shoot you look at all your cool monokumas. Don't you want to live? On my feet for the first time in a long while, I walked uneasily to the door. Slowly opened it and... Look terrible. Uh, um, Locky? hey. Go take a shower or something. Anything to help your face. What, what did they do to his sprite to make it look like that? He's, he, yeah, he looks. Is it his hair? I'll be in the dining hall with everyone huh? else. Everyone? Okay. I'll be waiting, so hurry up. Locky spoke curtly and left. Everyone was waiting in the dining uh, hall? Uh, um. I should go. Hurried and took a hot shower, then left my room. Yeah, just go back. I should go to the dining hall for now. Kettle, okay. Alright. Here's the mastermind. What, does, what good does that do for us now? Okay. Dining hall. Everyone's still alive? I'm gonna go pretty soon. Oh. Everyone was in the dining hall, besides Kokichi and Kaido. Mentally, they weren't really there. Life had gone out of their eyes. <sighs> Everyone here looks terrible. <sighs> really? You and I look terrible? <sighs> My face always looks like that. What were we talking about? Just <sighs> guessing I don't want to die, right? Huh? What? <sighs> I'm gonna go without suffering. Maki, can you do something about okay. that? Sure, but before that, take a look at this. Oh. Is that a flashback light? <laughs> so she's been looking for it this whole time? Um, Maki, why do you have I that? See. I was on top of the table when I left the dining hall this morning. When I went to the dining huh? hall. It's just sitting there? Mm. Okay, she probably put it there. Well then. To confirm the truth, perhaps? Are you, if we use that flashback light, you may recover memories that corroborate her up on his story. Mm. I'm supposed to use the flashback light to confirm the truth to Kukichi Tennis. We don't need to confirm anything. We saw the outside world for ourselves. Hey. You want to die comfortably? I can help you, but shake this flashback light first. Huh? Right? Uh, Why do we have to do because... that? Because. The only thing we can do right now. If we're going to die, then we might as well do anything we can. We'll have no regrets that That's way. That's right. Even if it's dangerous, it won't matter anymore, right? Either way, there's nothing left for us to lose. We don't have any hope left. Well. So let's do what we can. Okay, things won't end any won't end up any worse than they already are. Let me kill me. We'll be like I'm falling asleep. It's decided. Kibo Shuji, you fine with that? <sighs> yes, very well done. Uh, okay. Yeah. Unless it was decided, early painlessly. A flashback light suddenly appeared. Nothing can be more obvious and suspicious. Because our spirits are already broken, we had nothing left to lose anyway. Hey. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on. Aki switched on the flashback light. At that moment, the world flipped upside down, turned inside out. Ooh. Hope speak again. I saw Hope speak. The biggest, most. Okay, so this is Danganronpa, one and two universe. That, that's it. I remember. Everything is connected. Well, we'd forgotten. We'd forgotten that everything is connected. It all started at that academy, a government back school that nurtured the most talented students in various subjects. Hope's Peak Academy. We got the cool music! The event that tore the world that school apart changed the world. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Triggered a wave of terrorism and war across the world, and these true despair. Half the world was destroyed as a result of the terrible violence. That tragedy was caused by a single high school girl. Alright, there go. The ultimate despair, Junko Enoshima. She used whatever means necessary to paint the world in despair. The killing game of the 78th class of Hope Speak Academy was the same way. 
trapped by the ultimate despair, forced into a killing game. But after Junko and Oshima died, the case was closed, and the world began to slowly recover. But Junko's disciples, the remnants of despair, weren't done so in chaos. The future fan nation fought against them, trying to restore order. The war between hope and despair grew more and more extreme. The fight raged on, came to a sudden end. And right then, there's some then on that we remember. It's the beginning of our truth. One day, terrible despair rained down from the sky. Countless number of meteorites fell down upon the world, carrying an unknown virus. Emboldened by the overwhelming despair, the remnants cried, Humanity deserves damnation. nation. The future foundation was overwhelmed by this renewed despair and quickly lost influence. But then, Makoto Nayagi, together with the former members of the Future Foundation, started the Gopher Project at Hope's Peak Academy. Okay. Only genius can overcome nature, but only hope can overcome despair. Our young geniuses must escape this earth to become the seeds of the future. That's the only hope for humanity. With those principles, the Gopher Project began. The 16 Hope's Peak students were selected. Why pick a robot? We were the 16 students. That's it! We weren't all attending different schools. We were all attending the rebuilt Hope Speak Academy. We were the students that applied after learning Hope Speak was rebuilt. The new Hope Speak was like the like the last, and that it accepted ap applications to talented students and cultivated ultimate talents. Hope Speak Academy was a large school, so we were all in separate classes. But we were all students of Hope Speak Academy. From the candidates, the 16 of us were selected for the Gopher Project because. No, we weren't selected. We we're the only ones left. The mysterious fires from the meteorites spread rapidly around the world. The entire world was on the brink of extinction. Hope had almost triumphed, a cruel despair came roaring back to overtake the world. But we just so happened to be immune to the virus. That's the reason why we were chosen for the Gopher Project. We just so happened to be, yeah! I finally remembered. That world, this world, it's all connected. That's it! Everyone, did you all remember? The new world order yes. of PC. Vividly recall everything now. I guess. Yeah, but how could we forget something so important? Yeah! We're all students of Hope Speak Academy. <clears throat> We're the symbols of hope entrusted with the survival of humanity. Okay. Except for one person. That punk. Kokichi Oma, the mastermind behind the scale again. This organization's real identity. They were the remnants of despair. Okay. That's right. The cult organization out to destroy the Gopher Project. If Kokichi is the leader, that means he controls the remnants as of despair. As long as it's not Jungo herself, I'll, I'm okay with it. Out of all of us, he is the closest to the ultimate despair. Hmm. So obvious. A killing him like this could only be done by the remnants of despair. Last trials. Monokuma. Students of Hope's Peak Academy. It's all just like Junko and Oshima's killing game. Only someone who worships the ultimate despair would replicate that killing game. Which means that this killing game is just like the one that came before. It's a battle between hope and despair. Oh no no. Please please don't. Killing of the Maya's hope and dark despair. Wait a minute. Wait, hold on. This is such an important killing game. And why did Kokichi abandon it? Uh... That's also something the remnants of the despair that would do. They admire Junko and Oshima, right? He made an elaborate plan to cause us to despair, but he got bored of that plan. Jeez. Wanting to feel the despair of your plan being ruined, it's the ultimate, ultimate despair for you. Hey! What's wrong, Maki? So what? Okay, I'm just not convinced. It's okay. Probably fine, though. It's not a big deal. What if it's not Kokichi? What if it. I'm still on the Yantaro theory. Uh, okay. Are you sure? What? Finally learn the truth, but we still can't do uh. anything. And if, even if we get out of this academy, the outside world is still destroyed. There's no hope left for us. Everyone! Well, we just need to become that hope. What's wrong? Well, what's with you all of a sudden? I'm your boy. If I must. Thank you. If all hope is lost, then it's up to us to become that hope. After all, we're the students of Hope's Peak Academy, aren't we? We're all that's left of the 16 who survived the battle between hope and despair. Listen closely. If we give up now, everyone who fought on the side of hope will have fought for nothing. That's fought true. for nothing. Fought for nothing. I heard it. That's what my inner voice is telling me. 
No, no matter what, cannot abandon hope. Cannot give up. Okay, that's why it's urging me to do it. Leave it to me. So I will not despair. Even if, even if it's only a little, I'll move forward with hope. So is this inner voice actually Naegi? Uh, okay. Kibo. Listen closely. Right now, there's no use in thinking about whether lives have meaning or not. Because as long as we're alive, we still have the power to decide what that means for ourselves. That's what I believe hope is. I see. Ultimate hope, robot. That's what hope is. I see. Yeah, you're right. We're the students of the, the new Hope Speak Academy. We build as the symbol of hope. Yeah. If we, the symbols of Hope Speak Academy, give up, the world really will be punished from despair. You're right. I get it. In the end, it's all about willpower. I'm gonna live till the end, never give up. We won't be able to do anything in that destroyed world. Great, huh? But making the impossible possible is what magic is all about. Mm. It's a pain, but it'll be worth it. I'll live. I'll live for a hundred million more years. You guys. You're right. All right, let's do it. All right. Let's fight together against despair. Yes. Yes, as long as we stand together, without giving in despair, we'll find a new hope. We all strode in unison. We all felt the power of hope coursing through us, driving our bodies. The hope... Born in this academy, a tree of life with robots down deep, is supporting each and every one of us. Yeah. Motivation is rushing through my entire body. <laughs> this is the power of hope! Uh... Don't laugh like that, you sound less like a mage and more like a wicked witch. Because <laughs> you may have left that flashback light to make us give up. But if that was his plan, it failed. Sure, it does seem as though Kokichi's plan went wrong somewhere. But that. Well, one, did Kokichi lose that light? And two, if he did, total the plan for this. The only person who can give us flashback lights is Kokichi. Hey! What's their plan now? What are you gonna do about Kokichi? That's right. You gotta stop you know who. They're gonna despair, but this despair will never end. Okay. We have to say Kaido. Too. You're right! Yeah, of course. You're right. So stupidly positive. It's just the kind of guy we need at a time like this. That's right. Kaido by our side encourages us. Then even if we are the only people left, I think we can still find a new hope. That's exactly right. Star Wars 4, A New Hope. And then that, even in a situation like this, you think of something. Uh, Unless, like, where are Kokichi and Kaido? It's okay. And they robot hanging. Huh? Both of them? Kokichi did say that Kaido would be trapped in there, but... Okay. By chance, I happen to see Kokichi leaving the hangar during night time. What? By chance? Really? Right, right! I bet the truth is you were worried about Kaido and we were watching the hangar all day. Looks like that's the case. So what? It's not like I was worried about Kaido or anything, just had nothing else to do. So I'm used to watching others, so it wasn't any trouble. It's important for assassins to watch the targets and think of ways to kill them. Stop it! Stop, stop! We're all getting too mushy. We gotta make it all bloody instead. 100%! We know they're all in the Exile Hanker, but how do we get them out? By the way... The Hanker had an alarm system that'll go off if anyone approaches the shutter. After that, Kokichi had the alarm remote. You to shut off that alarm. Kokichi, can't you reply? The sound that, like, can't, can't, don't you record people? You, you recorded Monokuma. It's an electric barrier, right? Just gonna do something about yes. that, too. But even a pair to the control panel will set off the alarm, too. Mm -hmm. So many problems right from the start. What should we do? It's okay. I'll be fine. Like, I know how to stop the alarm system and the electric barrier. Does she have an idea? Oh, the hammers are probably charged up now, right? Should I call up there? Because I gotta go. I, I don't know how soon this thing. Like one minute, ten minutes, thirty minutes. I, I feel like this is a good stopping point. Everyone's up and ready again to fight, and Kaido's gonna be dead. Or Kokichi. Or it could be one of us, but I'm not really sure. Huh. But I'm not sold on the Kokichi's the mastermind theory just yet. Or. I mean, there's, there's a chapter 6, so there's, there's got to be more to it. I, I just don't know what it is. Like, it, it's starting to feel like this is the final chapter, but I, I saw this in chapter 6, because... I wonder if people from the... Like, do we don't really know it's been hundreds of years. What if it's actually just been, like, a year? And we're just so happy to land in, like, a city that... It, you know, it's destroyed by their eminence of despair, and actually, like, they built anti-meteorite guns while, after they send us off into space. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out that later. We'll find that out later. But why did they send the ultimate robot? 
Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Some more Danganronpa V3. See you guys then. Bye.